Right guys, welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 and mobile version. Everyone's been asking for this tutorial, so I thought I'd just get it out of the way and get it done. So let's get into how to make your own planets in Simple Rockets 2 mobile. So what you want to do, first you want to open the Planet Studio. And to be able to do this, you don't have to connect a keyboard or anything. You just go over to Settings, Controls, whoops, the wrong one, Controls. You press the three dots at the top right here and open developer console. Now you just type in planet that's all you really need to type in, just type in planet press ok and click planet studio there, press ok again and execute and this will bring it to the planet studio. Now it's still under development so a lot will change by the time maybe some of you are watching this video so first thing you want to do is load a system, just load the default Giro system and this will tell you where all the planets are in orbit and everything like that. This has all changed since I last did it on the PC so this is all new as well. So if you are doing this on PC it will be the same. So I want to make a moon. I'm just going to use Lunar as a template because I, ha I don't know how to change the sizes or anything unless you go into the files itself. So I just want to make a smaller moon so choose the planet you want closest to the size of the planet you want to make. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to rename this first, see if it is new, so we don't overwrite the normal moon, we're just going to call it Mun. And then you go into the settings and make sure you change this name, otherwise it will still show up as Luna in the game. There we go, it's got the landing site, it has water. Right, I want to add some water onto this, so we're going to click water and then sea level. This is where you set the sea level of how high you want the water to be in comparison to the level of the ground. So you press 50. Um, it probably won't be enough but there's all these settings down here that you can change. I haven't messed around with the settings too much but you can change it. The first thing you do want to change is the colour gradient. So I think we'll make it a bit of a bluey colour because water is blue. and then we'll set it to a darker blue on the right side. You always want the right side to be darker than the left because that's the deepness and um, we're going to set this to 500. Oh and you always have to rebuild so if you see on the right here where it says rebuild is required that's because it needs to rebuild the whole planet to be able to add the water when it's not already on. So you just click that see what happens. Now you can see the sea level is not set high enough because you can't see any water at all. So we'll just set this to 5000, rebuild again. And there we go, that is set too high now, so the whole planet's just covered in water. So we're going to change this. Let's just try messing about with some numbers and see how well it works. Rebuild again, always got to rebuild for the water. The things that you change that are dramatic and it comes up with rebuild required then you always want to change and rebuild. As long as it says rebuild is required, then make sure you do rebuild. And I'm just hitting the center button in that little panel under where it says Moon. So that's still not enough. We'll, oh, I've changed the color of death by accident. Uh, we'll change this to 4,200. That should be enough. We'll hit rebuild on that. And there we go, that's about the level I want it to be. Now you can change all the textures and everything. Um, change the colour adjustment and all this. You can import your own textures, I believe. You should be able to, but I'm not going to mess with that. I also mess all these up, all the biomes, you can change all this. Haven't messed around with this too much. But you want to go down here and if, if you click on here where it says biome pass and you click this button at the bottom this will randomize the seed so it will change the way the planet looks as in it'll change the position of the craters it'll change position so it'll run through all these biomes and regenerate them in a new place and now if you want to see a map of the planet so there you go you can see what your planet looks like in the terms of a map so if I hit the randomize button here again randomize it and we refresh the map there you go you can see how it slightly changes it is only going to change in accordance to what you've set these biome 
you know the, the settings in these biomes um, so what we'll do to mess around with it a little bit we will let me see what should we do next to get this to change um, if we go down to create a pass planes so we can change the creators over the planes uh, biomes so we'll change this I think we'll we'll put the frequency down to about two and we'll make the creators less frequent and uh, yeah we'll leave we'll leave all that we don't want to mess with all that yet um, should change any of these creators. Uh, here actually you can change the way creators look in the highlands. Frequency, the depth, randomness. Um, you can also, if you click up here at the top, you can change the shape. Now I struggled to figure out how to do this with the S Pen on the Samsung Note that I'm using to record this. It was not, it was not working. So I did have to end up using my finger to drag these around. So the pen doesn't work, but we we'll use our our finger. And we did make these quite steep. Well, I realised after the just made them a bit funky looking to see what they'd look like. And we did make them a bit weird. You'll see once we get into the game and load up the map. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Um, we're not going to mess around with it too much. Just this is a tutorial. We're just gonna get on with figuring out how to do this so we'll just leave the rest um, planes will change the frequency down again um, these ones will leave at that and we'll click the randomize button again and see if there's much of a change now they do look a little bit less frequent, so we'll leave it at that. I think it should be fine. It probably needed a rebuild, but I'm not going to do that yet. We'll save it. Now if we hit that random generation again. Sorry, it takes a while to load once the, you hit the random generation. It does stop the game a little bit while it's just generating stuff. And then you can move on. Right, so we'll just open the map again. And yeah, that, I'm happy with that. Uh, should we change any of these? You can change all these, like I say, you can change it all. This is the biomes. But I think we'll just leave this for now. I'm happy with the way it is. I might change the colour of the water. To make it look a bit more of an icy moon. Like Minmus. I should have called this Minmus really. But you can change the tiling. There's just so much you can change. I just haven't figured out how to change the, the size. Or things like that. So we're going to change this to make this a little bit icy. So if we go for like a light blue. Like that. Like a bluey green. Like Minmus colour and we'll see what that looks like. Now it doesn't seem like these waters are pr that, sh that deep. So obviously we're still getting that light blue colour. So I think we're going to change this to a white. Here we'll change this to almost white. We'll regenerate that. Oh, that didn't save our white. Press OK on that, save, and then regenerate. Oh, too white, yeah, it's definitely shallow, the waters here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the position. So you just pull that right marker along so you can see it's a bit more greeny, greeny blue. See what happens there. Oh, um, hmm. It looks pretty icy and cool, so we'll leave it at that. So what you want to do is you save your planet. Then to put it into the system, you want to load the system again. There we go, and we're going to go over to save system, rename the system here. 
name it. New system. Just for now. Save. And then what we want to do. Go over to Drew. Try and zoom in a little bit. And you can see we've got some app options here on the map view window. So we're trying to get this in view properly. It's hard on a mobile <laughs> to do this. So you've got some options here. Right, so if we hover over the first option, it's replace planet. The middle button is add new planet, and that's what you want to do. You want to go find your planet you've made. So we'll mine's Moon. There we go, in all its glory. You can check it out, see if you're happy with everything. Press add, and there you go, it adds it to the orbit around Drew. So, if you want to put it around the sun, you can obviously you click on the sun and then add the planet to that. If you're going to change the inclination here, we'll make it sort of a minimus inclination. So you can change everything about the orbit right in this screen, and it's great because you can see exactly where it's going, there's no messing about with numbers in the editing file, trying to figure out which one's which, trying to get it in the right place, loading up the game, all sorts like that. So you can change it as much as you want here. Um, that's just that. Uh, sphere of influence, we're going to put that quite low, we want it to be quite low. Semi-major axis is obviously how far away it is from the planet. So we'll leave it at that, that looks like a pretty cool orbit there. Just some visibility options, it's just like the normal map view window here. We can change everything like that. So, there we go, we've got our planet set up. That's where we want it to be, so we're just going to save this. New system, overwrite. Go into the sentence file, we're going to rename the system here. Make sure you rename it here, otherwise it will just show the original name. And save again. Just make sure you save and save all the time. Saving is the main priority. So, what you want to do, exit. Go into the menu, new game. You have to start a new game to be able to deal with the new system. Change the planetary system. Go to the three dots. Planet Studio. New system. And then OK. So there we go. We're now in our system. Now, because I left that launch pad on the planet when we made it, we're just going to load up there so we can see what the planet looks like straight away without having to fly over to the new moon so it is still named Luna because I didn't change the name of the launch site but there you go you can see our new planet on the right there we'll go to a sandbox craft launch and we'll just launch here so there we go we can see our new planet our creators are definitely a bit weird looking I mean if you spend a lot more time on this you can get some really cool looking stuff but yeah, I really made some weird looking creators with that create shape thing. And we're going to try and find Drew. Oh, there it is, just popping over the horizon. And you can see our lake, our icy lake over there. Which is pretty cool. It'd be good to do some missions to our new moon. Maybe make some really cool moons in the game and um, fly over to them and stuff. Make some new planets, which would be good. I'd like to make like a new Mars-like planet, but different colours and stuff, that'd be cool. So we'll definitely be trying that. So yeah, you guys asked for this mission, this mission, this tutorial for a long time. Finally brought it out. I realised how much the Planet Studio has changed since I last used it, so this will be the same sort of thing for PC as well. It is not just for mobile, but obviously primarily this was recorded on a mobile. And you guys wanted to see it for the mobile, so I thought that would be good. So yeah, if you did like this and it helped you out a bit to help create your own moons and planets, then do hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button for more. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.